who was the American mafia leader who killed, stole, and committed acts of violence, and was only caught in a tax evasion case. How did this man transform into one of the most famous stars like cinema stars and turn Chicago into a fortress of organized crime worldwide? This episode is about the legend of the American Mafia, Gabriel Al Capone, the number one enemy of the people. Watch the video till the end, and if you like it, press like and subscribe to the channel. Crime, mystery, and contradiction are the three most important elements that shape the life of Alfonso Gabriel Capone, who wasn't the biggest or most dangerous Mafia figure, but he certainly became the most famous of them all. His father, Gabriel Capone, was an Italian barber who decided to immigrate from Italy to America, like thousands of Italians, in search of a better life for his family. He arrived in New York in 1893 and worked as a barber there. In 1899, Alfonso was born, and they called him Al for short. The Capone family grew up contrary to what people might imagine, having no connection to the world of crime. They were a very ordinary and cohesive family, consisting of a father, mother, and nine children, living a normal life in a suburb of New York. The aggressive and criminal tendencies of Capone emerged when he was very young. At the age of 14, he was expelled from school after slapping his teacher on his face, and that was the end of his educational journey and the beginning of his journey into crime. He tried to work in honest jobs like bookbinding and selling sweets, but his intense fascination with the world of gangs and crime led him to pursue his dream and join a gang. Finally, he achieved his dream and joined a gang called the Five Points Gang, working as a bouncer in a nightclub owned by the gang's leader, Frankie Yale. During one of the fights, Al Capone was deeply scarred on his face, a scar that never faded until his death. That's why he is known as Scarface. The law of silence is the rule that governs mafia men, and it is what saved Al Capone from prison on a murder charge after he killed two men with no witnesses. The meaning of this law is that mafia gangs settle their accounts among themselves, killing and kidnapping as they please, but they never inform the police about each other or any crimes that occur. Whoever violates the law of silence, his fate is inevitably known. In 1921, Capone seriously injured a rival gangster during a quarrel, and the leader of the Five Points gang decided that Al Capone should go to Chicago until things calmed down. This transition marked the beginning of Capone's rise to the top of the mafia world. Within just four years, he became the absolute leader of the Chicago criminal organization succeeding his close associate Torrio, who had survived a failed assassination attempt and decided to return to Italy. Capone proved his worth, and under his leadership, the organization's revenues reached a hundred million dollars per year. This was an enormous fortune in the 1920s, all accumulated from illegal activities such as gambling, facilitating prostitution, and selling alcohol during the Prohibition era in America. Capone became famous during the Prohibition period for controlling large parts of the vice world in Chicago. His political influence grew through organized corruption, and he became the controller of law enforcement institutions in Chicago. Capone's gang operated without any legal accountability or questioning. With his power, Capone dressed the finest clothes, ate the most expensive food, and drank the finest wines, not to mention the jewelry and cigars. Despite this, Capone made many donations to charities charitable organizations, as he was known among the people for supporting the poor, and his supporters likened him to Robin Hood, justifying his criminal activities as taking from the rich to give to the poor. However, this image did not last long, especially as conflicts between gangs escalated, resulting in the deaths of many innocent people and tarnishing Capone's reputation. Capone played a role in the success of Republican candidate William Hale Thompson in the 1927 municipal elections in Chicago. It was rumored that Capone supported Thompson's campaign with a donation of $250,000. Capone's men also protected polling stations on Election Day. These elections were dubbed the Pineapple Primary due to the violence that occurred, resulting in the deaths of at least 15 people, including four police officers, due to clashes with supporters of the rival candidate. In 1929, on Valentine's Day, a massacre took place involving Capone's gang, hence it was known as the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. On that day, Capone's men disguised themselves as police officers and attacked a rival gang's hideout, killing seven of them. All of this contributed to people's aversion to Capone to the point where they called him the number one enemy of the people.
despite his attempts to boost his popularity by opening free restaurants for the poor and engaging in other charitable activities. Capone committed every crime imaginable, including murder, bootlegging, fraud, and prostitution, among others. Despite his long history of crime, he was never convicted or imprisoned for a single murder. When he was sent to prison, it was for tax evasion in 1931, and he was sentenced to 11 years. On entering the federal prison in Atlanta, he bribed guards and jailers to make a lavish life inside the prison and continued to run his gang from behind bars. However, the U.S. government decided to transfer him to the toughest prison, Alcatraz, where he was treated like a real criminal for the first time, completely isolated from the outside world. When symptoms of syphilis, which he had neglected to treat in his youth, began to appear, the American authorities released him in 1939. It appears that imprisonment and illness weakened him, making him unable to continue leading gangs, which led him to spend his last years living at home until his death in 1947. If, if you liked the episode, click like and subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to activate the notification bell to receive new episodes as soon as they are published.